I'm wondering how close I am to the camera. Let's see, can I stop? And I think we're good. Okay, so I decided I wanted to film a video today that is like a first impressions video. I've never done a first impression video, so um, I'm a little excited but also a little nervous about this. Um, it's the end of the day and you're probably going to be wondering why I would be doing a first impressions at the end of the day. Um, but I just got this product and I'm super excited to use it and I just cleaned it so I'm like ready to try it out. I was kind of like playing around with it a second ago. It is basically an artiste brush. It's an off brand version of an artiste brush. I got this at TJ Maxx for $8. So it looks like this. I'm sure the actual Artiste brushes are a little bit nicer quality, um, but honestly, I'm not mad at this so far. Having not used it and not seen how foundation sets on the skin with it, um, I'm not mad at it. It looks pretty good. I'm a little scared because it's kind of flimsy up top if you move it around. So I'm just trying to be super careful about that. But um, that's what it looks like it said on the package that it's for concealing and um, contouring which I could see that if you did a cream contour it would be perfect to fit in the hollows of the cheeks um, concealing it looks like it's probably perfect for the under eye but I'm gonna try it for foundation today because I'm interested in trying something new with the way I apply foundation so I'm going to use my faithful Maybelline Fit Me in warm nude I'm just gonna Put a little bit on my hand and we are just going to dot that on the face and see how this bad boy blends and also I'm probably not gonna be looking into the camera the whole time because I'm trying to look into the mirror and see what it looks like and I know maybe my lighting's not the best, so I hope you guys can see enough of what's going on. I will take you in good lighting once I have um, this all applied so you can see what the finish looks like with this. I'm really hoping that it can cover all my skin. The reason I use my hands as opposed to using a beauty blender or anything or any type of brush or anything like that to apply my foundation is just because I find that it always just works better and I have less splotchiness, less redness, um, and less discoloration when I just use my hands. So I'm just kind of going all over the face, including the eyelids, in between the nose. The great thing about this, I think, is as opposed to using just my finger is that it kind of gets into the little crevices of the nose I don't think my finger necessarily always can um, so I am liking that it's really soft and but at the same time really dense so I'm enjoying the texture of the brush as well and I am kind of dipping a little bit more con our foundation on there and I'm just trying to take it all over the face and hoping that it's blending out evenly because just like you guys are seeing bad lighting right now, I am as well. But please just bear with me. Okay. Let me look into this mural fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can already tell you guys, I think I really like this a lot. This is just like a very thin layer of foundation and I don't even have concealer on. Let's try it with concealer real fast. Oh, there's no wet brush. Just for the heck of it, let's see what happens. First off, I have to use the applicator just to get it on. This is like my concealing slash highlighting, I guess, all in one. If you've seen my foundation routine from the summer, it's pretty similar to that. Now I'm using a couple different products, but other than that, I'm still applying things pretty much the exact same way. Oh my gosh. I think I'm really gonna love this. I'm gonna look in this small mirror here and see up close. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't think I'm ever going to apply foundation and concealer with my hands ever again. Oh my gosh. I think this is like a hero. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can get some good lighting. 
Um, I don't know if this is good lighting or not, but let's just look. That, like less than three minutes worth of blending, my foundation and concealer, there's no powder, no contour, no anything else on top of it. This is just foundation and concealer. No primer, no um, any cor color correcting or anything. This is all it is. I think, and the way that the foundation feels on my face right now is incredible. And just looking at it, it's so much more blended, I think, than I've ever seen my foundation look before. Um, so I'm really excited to keep using this brush. I will let you guys know um, later on if I'm still loving the Artiste brush. I think though that we can say that this is a hot item and that it's worth the money. And if you can find a good set of Artiste brushes or even find off-brand ones at the store like the one I found, which by the way, the brand of mine is The Cream Shop. The Cream? The Cream. I think it's Cream because it says C-R-E with a line of er accent and then me so the creme shop if you can find something like that i found mine at tj maxx like i said give it a try because it's worth it i think oh my gosh i'm super excited well i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i will see you guys later bye